Alright, so we gotta cover DJ Academics really became the new street credit law. Alright, so we gotta cover this. DJ Academics really got pulled like this in 2020. He made a couple calls and got his man's chain back. If you guys recall, a couple weeks prior, Annoying and I think his name was Cap the God or something just Cap the God, I believe is his name. They went out to Toronto to go see Drake's show and shit got a little scary down there where dudes was getting lined up, robbed. They was looking for American influences to lick. So Kai Sinat shared a story as well on how there was some girls moving weird out there and they tried to line him up as well but luckily he was street smart enough to understand shit was getting a little spooky and got up out of it it looks like it looks like that boy annoying that boy annoying and captain god did not have the same luck also if you guys remember the story that academic said is crazy that supposedly when they came and pulled the chain off his neck that boy cap fell out the car and annoying told him to pull off like imagine you on the floor and you just watching that scooby-doo van that you just happen to be inside of just skied off the road with the door still open like drive Drive! Nah, bro. I'm gonna be on the floor just looking at them shit. With the eyes of an angel. You know, I was only used to play at 3 in the morning every time I try to get you to donate to Sick Dog. I would hear that shit as I hear that van drive off. Like, yo, these boys better hope. They better pray to God that they finish me out here. That I don't make it back. They better hope. They better hope. Because I'm there. There's no being cool. I need my fair one. With every, not even a fair one. Because y'all didn't give me a fair one. Y'all niggas getting packed out. Y'all getting beat up by multiple people. There's no fair ones in some situations. Like that. You gonna leave me at a moment? Like, what do you want us to do? I want you to get robbed too, nigga. I want every nigga in this call. Yo, there's more chains going around. Y'all gonna leave me? You gonna leave me on the ground? That's crazy. Big act came to the rescue. 302. Man, all I'm saying is when you get your chain back, Cap the God, you gotta melt this shit. The same way Drake talked about melting Pharrell's chains, you gotta do the same. You have to melt this because this is just too much energy you don't need around you right now. You gotta pay for armed security. It's more of an expense. To have a dad cap diamond out on your neck, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Thank God act got the juice he got in 2023. It's crazy how long he came though. Because if you would have told me this back in 2015, 16, when act was like, hey, what's up, guys? DJ. Nah, ain't no damn way. Remember when Soldier Boy used to roast his man for living in his mom's basement? Act came a long, long way. For the ones that have been messing with the channel for a while, a long, long way. Act's cool with Drake. Yeah, Drake don't show Act the love that he should or the act, the love he shows every other content creator that becomes popular overnight. But the thing with Act and Drake is that it's longevity. They probably talk a lot behind the scenes and they've been friends for quite a while. And Act always says that's his favorite rap. Yeah, I remember what he told Kendrick when Kendrick said he's smoking on your top five. Who? Because my top five is Drake. Drake. Drake, Drake and Drake! Like, that was crazy. That was crazy. Oh, this ain't tough, nigga. I don't play around without the chapers. You know why I ain't back? On a Friday, cheers to you guys. Cheers, because there is so much going on right now. Act getting chains back after chains got stolen. He called himself the J Prince of the internet era. Crazy. Crazy. Y'all gotta subscribe to this channel in case y'all get some shit stolen or robbed. You need somebody to get it back? You've been with me since day one. I got you. I mean, I got us. Toronto niggas. I know Drake balls off the top of the mind. I'm just saying. I'm saying if you niggas is giving niggas free passes out there. Bro, niggas so I have a huge platform, bro, and I put Toronto on because I fuck with them, nigga. I was hot because I fuck with them. The long way, Paul. They know off street that I talk to these niggas. Files my nigga. Press is my nigga. Even the people that don't fuck with us talk to. Shout out to Doofy. I know you're going through this situation. I fuck with Toronto. And I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't expect it. But when my man got the chain took, I went on to every Toronto blog page and I said, that's my friend. I said, damn, that's my friend. Every Toronto blog page, Toronto rappers. I went on to Six Buzz, Keep Six Solid. That's my friend. Damn. I said, damn, we. We might have to talk. Bro, we didn't have to talk. They were like, damn, oh, that's Axe Friend. We don't get that nigga's shit back. That's Axe Friend. We fuck with Axe. Axe been doing mad shit for us. Put us on type shit. You know what I mean? Help us with whatever. They said, Axe, we about to send you the chain. No money talking about like, oh, bro, we got the chain right now. We about to send it to you. Where you want us to send it to? Fact. Right now. Yo, if you guys watch the Shorty Shorty interview with DJ Academics, Act told Shorty Shorty he got his man's chain back, and Shorty's like, wait, you got it? Like, you physically got it? He's like, nah, it's coming in the mail. Shorty's like, I don't think they sent that shit. I don't think you're going to get it. He's like, they even sent me a tracking number. That shit had me laughing. Like, damn, imagine getting your chain robbed, and they sent it back to your man's even with a track. That's great. Now, they didn't even leave it for suspense. They made sure he knew that he was going to get it or where the chain was at. Shorty Shorty's like, man, you don't know what they sent in that package. And I kind of was thinking the same shit when he started saying, the chain is back and secure. Act Ack is Big Ack. Now when he yells Big Ack, I believe him even more now. He really is Big Ack. Because DJ Drama ain't have no damn pool in Toronto. Only pool he had was the chain that they pulled off his neck and made him to pay to get it back. We talked about that too as well on this channel months and months ago. Crazy that Ack just made a couple calls and got the chain right back to him. Insane. I just want to show that appreciation for, for uh, Toronto. Uh, is this phone guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
So Axe shares a lot of information here exactly on how he got it back. He just happened to be cool with the Wassas in there. We've heard Axe talk about Presso. We've heard Axe talk about Top 5. We've heard him talk about his relationship that he has with these real Toronto dudes and upcoming artists in Toronto. So this doesn't shock me too much. It just shocks me that when it got to street shit, cool still happened to work. If you guys didn't see, there's another video as well of when he actually received the chain before he goes on stream to share this and share the story. I just want to show you guys that quickly. <sighs> Also, quick thing, don't sleep. You know what music he got playing in the background? Sha Glizzy. If you guys know, Sha Glizzy's not a big fan of academics. Sha Glizzy also dissed academics on this song. I know every DJ except that, we said, except that pussy nigga named Academic. Sha Glizzy got his chain took, and Black Youngster had to come back and play the academics role to get him back that chain. Same thing happened to NBA Youngboy. I don't want to say they stole his chain. Jay, uh, I don't want to say they stole his chain. They stole something. I think it was car keys when they broke into his house, and Jay Prince was trying to get it back. It might have been his chain, but I think it was like car key. Youngboy wasn't with it. Youngboy was like, bro, I nobody need your old ass help. Young boy wasn't as accepting to the help as these two might be. The cut it, cut it, cut it. The biggest. Also, that's the best inflation song ever. I didn't even think about it. That is the best song for 2023. Next time my landlord tries to put my rent up every single year, then price is way too high. You need to cut it, cut it. I know, they be wishing, they be wishing, every time someone has nothing, they be wishing me. Yo, listen, man, from now on, I'm a little Jay Prince, man. I can tap on my GG real quick. That's a crazy self-claim to claim Jay Prince. Nah, he really got the chain back, though. I know he's on his high horse. I know he's on his high horse. He's talking crazy for the next two weeks. They took my boy chain, I got it back. How you think his boy feel though? His boy probably feels super sick that he's just sitting in the crib like, yo, you really had to get act to get that chain back. You can't be mad at clout. You can't be mad at clout. Axe got, definitely got more pool than you in today's time. Act one of the godfathers of this online reacting stream and shit, which is crazy because it wasn't even really that long ago that he happened to pioneer and have a great idea. And it's something we probably all thought about, but this shows you again, we all thought about it. He happened to pull the trigger. Salute. I love people like that. Mm. Yo, yo, Cap, I got, I got you, nigga. nigga. Next time you go to Toronto, tap with the GGs, baby, straight. Shout out to Wasser, Shout out to Wasser, Yo, we're going to be on the ship in like two hours. I'm going to have one of the GGs over, they're going to break the whole thing down. Yeah, I know my boy got his chain taken to Toronto, but they fuck with me so heavy, they said, act. Take it back. Real talk. My favorite part here. Fucking image. I know every day they put this pussy in academics. Take it to the floor, bro, boy. Fuck this image. He's feeling himself. Y'all say you get confiscated, man. Hit the gag, man. Chain recovery services for free. We also got a whole neck degreaser program going on too. Okay. <laughs> This nigga got a neck degree neck degreaser program. Remember he used to say that when they stole chains and shit on the greasy neck tour right now? Nah, that's wild. If I'm his man, I'm sitting in the crib sad. Happy I'm getting my chain back, but I'm definitely feeling like a less of a man tonight as I go to sleep. Like that is crazy. This nigga's now giving free services. You get stolen, he got you. Just holler at me. Get your chain back, your watch back, your back, your man's back. back. Whatever you whatever you gotta take, we'll get it back. Okay? Anyway, I've been going through twice. What do you guys think about all this? All we can say is that Ak is that guy today. He proved it, man. He proved it. He got international love. International love. This ain't only in the United States. This is traveling over to Canada. He always also reps Jamaica, which you guys know he's Jamaican and never lets us forget that. So the fact that there's a lot of Jamaicans in Canada, is that one of the way he got that leeway out there or that big respect, always bringing up their country, always bringing up that island, rather say? I don't know. But all we know is that Act got that damn chain back, man. Salute to Big Act. This shit is hilarious. You'd have told me this back in 2015, I would have never believed. Never. You'd have told me this last week, I would have never believed. It's wild to see where Act is at in life right now. Big pool, big, big pool. He even sitting with. Whack 100 talking about catching other dudes from the community to catch that fade with him from with Saucy Santana. Like, bro, this guy's really trying to make shot calls today. Like, this is crazy. You better chill before you get your own Rico. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Comment down below. Is Big Act Big Act or is he Big Act Pause? Pause, because that sounds crazy. Pause. I never I never agree with that nickname until today, though, when this nigga's out here showing big chains and shit. You got your ring stolen. Your girl might have been taken by a hood nigga. You lost your car keys. Call me. I got you, brother. I got you. Call me. Me back really that guy today. That shit is hilarious. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. We're on the road to 10,000 subs. Sub up.
Because y'all get y'all shit stolen. There's not much I can do with 4,000. But now if I got a quick little 30, 40, 60, 70, 80, maybe 100,000. I got you. I know who was here. I got you.